Hello everybody, Donkey here, and yes, we are back with some more Train Sim 2021. And this time we are on the York to Peterborough route, and we have this very nice Regional Railways Class 158 DMU. Now the 158s have served the UK really well, and... Um, they primarily only come in this two car DMU configuration, but sometimes they do a push and pull four car, but mainly seen in this configuration. And the regional railways livery is always a, uh, a nice sight to see on these. They also come in um, network southeast livery, but uh, I really like the regional railways. And the scenario that we're doing is called Selby to York and it takes about 25 minutes. And uh, it is a cold and wintry day. So before we get into it, I just want to say if you are a new viewer and you haven't already, please subscribe down below. All right, let's jump into the cab and uh, get it going. Okay, here we are inside the cab of the 158. And... Uh, this is looking very, very uh, familiar. It is looking decent. The 158 has served this country well for many years. And uh, I remember seeing the cabs on these all the time. Uh, so let's get some... We want the headlights. Can we get cab lights? Yes, no, maybe. Um, uh, instrument lights. We have instrument lights. We can't get seem to, we can't seem to get cab lights for some reason. I don't know why. Um, we'll open the doors anyway. And get going. Well, anyway, we're we're going to go without cab lights for now. Um, let's get this up. Surprised? Has this got a? Uh, I was just looking reverser throttle yeah these are pretty iconic now Ooh, uh, we had a red light but it was okay it just went green yeah these are pretty iconic now 158 they later got up upgraded into the uh, the one Yeah, the 158s are pretty, um, pretty popular and are pretty iconic now. Uh, they are they are going on quite a bit now, um, but they are quite iconic and pretty popular in the UK. And uh, the 158 eventually got upgraded to the 159, but the 158 is definitely one everybody remembers. And I mean, on this cold winter's day. Going to York is pretty good. They are uh, up in the north is where they primarily um, primarily functioned. They did function in the in the West Midlands as well, um, but uh, the regional railways livery is you'd always see a regional railways livery on these. Um, I believe they did. I think they uh, also operated near London as well but uh, I think it was mainly up in the north and the west midlands classic and they've always, they'd have they always come ooh, why have we there we go yeah you'd always see them in this two car configuration um, sometimes you'd see another one of these two cars on the back as like a push and pull uh, but they'd always come in sort of this two car configuration. This is sort of just a classic look of the 158. Absolutely love it. 
Uh, I have driven this before on train sim, but a very long time ago. I think it was one of the very first I actually got into uh, as a wee lad. Um, I, I mean, I've had train sim for ever since it came out, pretty much. Um, and I used to play it on and off here and there. Uh, it, it was pretty boring as uh, when I was a kid. Um, but now that I've got a bit older, I find it a bit more interesting but um yeah back into there this was I think this was one of the first I actually uh, jumped in on train sim this uh, 158 yep I know now <laughs> talking about back into there um, I remember for like couple of uh first play well playing this game um i didn't really i didn't understand what the aws was and i didn't understand uh why it would bleep so i'd go <laughs> i'd go over an aws and it would bleep and i would be like what the hell is this like, i don't know what this is and the train would uh eventually you know emergency brake and i'd be like what have i done wrong um obviously now that i realize my mistake back like now being a bit older I understand what it means but uh yeah if you're a if you're a uh, youngish person playing this game and you really enjoy it fair play um I never used to enjoy this game as a young child um there was just something about it that definitely appeals to a more adult um, player um, is that red no, it's a yellow we're good yeah more adult player will definitely enjoy this game more um, but as a child I I bought this game because I, I mean I've always been interested in you know trains in the railway and stuff um, ever since a, a young age But uh, yeah, as a, as a child, I, I used to play this, and and it was too difficult, and I'd I'd get bored real quick, um, and I, I'd go and play something more like Minecraft, or I'd go and play something like uh, Halo or Call of Duty. Um, that was just you know me being a child. Um, but as I got older, I find that those games that I used to play like Call of Duty and stuff they're just really boring and they're all samey samey um, you could say Train Sim is all samey samey but I don't know the, those games that I used to play back in back in the day as, as a child I just I just look at them now and I'm like I, I just look at them and I'm like I, I just don't find them fun I just don't I just don't find them appealing anymore it's, it's why I don't buy um the Call of Duties really anymore um, I got Modern Warfare but that was only uh, that was only out of uh, out of love really because I, I, I miss the old Modern Warfares but uh, even still I was getting bored of that real quick so I think this point work is a bit slower but yeah I mean as an adult now, uh, being an older adult, jumping back into this game, uh, I mean, I've been playing now, well, I, I, I said I've been playing since the start, but recently been jumping back in, I've been playing, I'd say, for a couple of years now, like, properly playing. I'm fully enjoying it. We might be getting wheel slip here on the snow. But yeah, I'm fully enjoying it now enjoying it more than I ever have um, which is super weird considering what I used to I used to think of this game but uh, yeah fully enjoying this now um, and I don't see myself slowing down on it I don't see myself getting burnt out on it anytime soon I'm really enjoying it and I think it's just because I've reached that demographic that the game is aimed at you know it's not aimed at children this game uh, it's aimed at a more older 
um, and a more adult audience who want to play simulators and uh, I have reached that demographic now um, makes me sound old but yeah I have reached that demographic and that's why I really enjoy it and uh, the new one is a lot more arcadey train sim world 2 it's a lot more arcadey it's and it's it's on consoles and that's aimed at a different demographic that's aimed at trying to get children into sims uh, and simulators this train sim classic train sim og is definitely aimed at the adult audience and uh, and aimed at because i i don't care that it's got you know the graphics are not that good and it is an older game i don't care about that um i care about the the actual like learning the loco and learning about the driving and stuff when a a more younger um child might say oh i don't like the game because it looks old or it the graphics don't look nice um you know they want to see a nice looking locomotive and a nice surrounding so you know that's why the new one has its place and that's why it is on consoles it is a bit more arcadey and easier to play and use but this one definitely aimed at the older the older audience which is fine because they they keep bringing new stuff out for this game anyway so and i mean to be fair you kind of have to be an adult with a full-time job to even afford the uh, DLC for this game it is way 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 too expensive <laughs> but uh, we buy it nonetheless because we love this game Intercity HST there we'll get a nice flyby of this actually let's have a look at it somehow like the look of the uh, the 158 it just looks really good in my opinion like there's something about it which let's get that post out of the way there we go that's better yeah there's something about the 158 which just looks really cool in my opinion and uh, we'll fly down the rails to get a fly bite There's like literally nothing around here. Mountain Dew. Yeah, this is a pretty short journey. Um to be honest it's only a 25 minute scenario so to be honest it's uh, it's pretty short I do like the shorter the shorter scenarios to be honest um, when I when I there are some scenarios that I want to do that are 100 120 minutes long which are a big big undertaking especially on a, a work night um, and that's the thing I, I work full-time job um, as well as doing YouTube so if you know if I was doing YouTube full time I'd probably you know blast through those scenarios those 100 minute scenarios easy but because I work a full time job I, I barely get any time to do videos now um, I go to work I come home and I don't really feel like recording a video I, I just want to chill out um, sometimes when I do want to record a video on a, on a work night um and uh, so I won't know it's a weekday for me uh, Monday to Friday um, I, I want to just play a quick snappy 25 30 minute scenario just quick and easy um, that's why Train Sim World appeals to me a lot because it is actually um, it is actually quick and arcadey and you can just jump in and play for 25 minutes um, but on the weekends um, that's when I try to actually knuckle down and get a few recordings done I, I will actually jump into train sim and play a longer scenario I'll jump into Euro Truck because to get the G29 out and plug it in and set it all up takes ages I can't be really bothered to do that um, on a weekday night when I just want to chill out 
um, watch like a movie or something. Um, you got a double. But yeah, um, just just getting the wheel out is a big, big undertaking, and it is it is just a, a really annoying sometimes. So on the weekends, I do try and like actually knuckle down and actually try and um, record Euro Truck, record OMSI, um, record Train Sim, and actually get a few things done. But on a week, uh, during lockdown, I was doing really well. I was doing about three videos a week, if you were around for that. Uh, I was doing about three videos a week, mainly because I wasn't working. Um, I was at home, and I could literally just do YouTube every day, all day, which was the dream. It was like actually doing YouTube full time, which is amazing. If if I was doing YouTube full time, I'd actually do three videos a week every week um, and I, I gained a lot of subscribers from that so I just want to say thank you if you are a subscriber um, you are helping me out a, a lot and we are trying to reach a thousand subs so if you aren't subscribed please do so down below but yeah we were we were gaining a lot of subs a lot of views we were doing well on the videos and uh Unfortunately, I went back to work and it's all it's all gone out the window, but um we're still doing videos i do I try to do one uh, one video a week at least um, it's just finding the time to do it, which is difficult sometimes but luckily, the people that will actually watch simulator videos understand that and they they don't mind a you know someone that uploads say Call of Duty needs to upload every single day otherwise their viewer base gets really annoyed um, and gets really angry that they haven't uploaded luckily the people that watch simulator videos ooh, were going really fast I didn't realise 45 through here luckily the people that watch simulator videos are a bit more um, lenient and they're a bit more, um, you know, they're a bit more, they don't get time to watch a video every single day. So they tend to just like a video once a week, which is great for me. Um, and we've been seeing some really good viewage uh, on the videos and we're still gaining subscribers, which is great. So thank you all. Hopefully when we get to a thousand subs, we'll do something special. Um, I'd really like to do a giveaway of some sort. Give away a few simulator games at some point. But no idea how we're going to do... No, no idea how we're going to do that. We'd have to figure it out as we go. But uh, I'd also like to do streaming at some point as well. Uh, at the moment, I'm not in the right position um, I should say to be able to stream um, so that's why I don't do it but hopefully at some point I, I do want to get to the point where we can actually uh, start streaming and hopefully get enough viewers watching to actually do streams so if you're looking forward to that stick around because it, it might be in the future there are a few games coming out this year. Um, well, I say this year, towards the end of the year now. 2021 is, is uh, well, it's, it's pretty much uh, halfway through the year now. We're on the seventh month. Um, coming up to the eighth soon. So, you know, this year has gone really quick, 2021. Um, but there are still a lot of games that are coming out in 2021 that I do want to play. Um... And I think that I will record them and put them on the channel. Um, and then next year, there'll be probably a, be a load of games coming out next year as well. So we've got a lot of content coming up as well. Uh, there's lots of OMSI stuff coming soon. Uh, official and non-official. So we'll just have to look forward to that. Eurotruck's always expanding. Always, always expanding. 
which is great. Uh, now 6 6 there with some containers, that's cool. But yeah, we're just uh, we're just making our way through it. Train Sim World's going to be bringing out a lot more stuff, I think. Even though I'm not really too bothered about Train Sim World, but I'll I'll check them out. I'll check some of their stuff out. They they brought some stuff out recently, but uh, I haven't checked it out. Um, mainly because I'm waiting for it to go on sale. <laughs> a lot of the Train Sim stuff that comes out, I wait until it goes on sale. Um, Mainly because I can't afford it to uh, to buy it full price, retail price. So I wait until it's on a Steam sale and then I buy it. A lot of people have suggested that I set up a uh, some sort of like Patreon or something, but to be honest, um, I don't really want to take people's money, especially the small amount of people that watch these videos I, I don't really want to take their money um, maybe if we got like really big um, on YouTube that it would be something I look at uh, maybe if you wanted to support me but at the moment I'm, I'm alright I, I do these videos I make them on a on an evening and uh, hopefully you get some sort of enjoyment out of it this is classic, classic six over here. Look, with those, uh, with those. I forgot what they're called actually. Those wagons. But that was classic, classic six six. Yeah, we're here. Is that a 91 leaving there? I think it is. That's pretty cool. And is that a HST in there? Oh, the speeding. It's a HST, very nice. I recently went to the um, train museum in York, which is where we're pulling into now, actually, funny enough. But uh, I recently went to the train museum in York. I might put up a video of the, some of the stuff that I filmed there, um, some of the trains that I filmed. But uh, yeah, recently went to York and saw the uh, the class. Uh, well, it's not a class. It's a it's the one two five HST one two five. Um, it's a uh, Granith Kenneth Granger. I think oh, Gr Kenneth Granger. I can't remember. But yeah, that was pretty cool. So let's take a look at this from the outside. So that was a quick and short 158 um, journey from Selby to York um, and it was pretty good. I really love the 158 and especially in the regional railways livery. I absolutely love it. And those doors as well are iconic. But yeah, if you enjoyed I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.